since I was already doing energy drinks, I thought, why not? Let's add milk because if cardiac arrest wasn't enough, bubble guts was. So I tried Red Bull first, which it honestly wasn't too bad. It had a kind of a citrusy taste, but I probably wouldn't try it again. Kind of almost like Milkus. Next up was Monster, which I definitely knew was going to be the bubble gut candidate. Tasted like an unrefined cadmium deposit mixed with an Oreo McFlurry with sprinkles on top. It's like chewing on aluminum. Probably wouldn't recommend. Next was the fuel that gave my Uncle Steve cardiac arrest. But I think it had a code for cod on the back, which was cool. Had to give it a good old old factory test. Smelt like cat urine in iron ore. Still wanted to give it a try. First taste, I couldn't really get a good profile on it. But I went back in there and it tasted like I was going to die of lead poisoning or get trigeminal neuralgia. So, uh, skip that one. Lastly was the four loco of energy drinks. And at this point, I was questioning my life decisions. Fun fact, I was drinking chunks because the acidity from the energy drinks was causing the casein from the milk to separate the casein and whey neutralize and start to form clumps because they are attracted to each other and curd up. So that's what I'm drinking. I didn't even want to give it an olfactory test. I already knew it was going to taste like ass. Tasted like John Diss mixed with Jeremy Clarkson's teeth. Yeah. Honestly though, I think it unclogged my drain. So I think, I think it was pretty useful with that. Final verdict, I'm going to have to give it to Red Bull.